Hojo's van and today's job is changing some of the locks. Um, the passenger side lock, it looks like it's been done over recently so we've just bought a new lock set and we're going to have a go at fitting that today so wish us luck because it's raining a lot. The first job is to get the door panel off of the passenger door and Amy's using a little torque screwdriver um, to pop the panel out and there's also a little torque screw just for there which will release this door handle so that's our first job so just popping all the little latches off it's about three on the left side three on the right side and a couple underneath so just had to pop the handle off there's a little torque screw under there and then the whole unit should pop off with any luck. Right, so the door card has just popped off. So we're leaving that dangling by its wire here. And now we need to get in, just undo that little screw we think. So that little screw that we uh, just un undone there, it's been great because it's loosened this part of the handle. And it also meant that Amy's got behind with a screwdriver and pushed from inside to pop out this bit. So with a little bit of a yank. That's it. Ooh. We've got this out and you can see that at some point someone's probably put a screwdriver in this block. So this is the part that we're going to replace next. Right, we've come inside because it's freezing outside and soaking wet. And we've been wrestling with how to get the barrel out from the lock mechanism so with a little bit of help from YouTube we figured out that you need the key in the lock you need to turn it part of the way because if you can see if you're looking in here okay you can see when you turn it there's a little bit in there that we need to pop out and if you have a look at the new barrel which is here Okay, you can see that this is the bit that's holding the cylinder into the lock. So we need to press this bit in on the old barrel and the lock will pop out. So we've just done this once, let's see if we can do it again. So actually, it looks already pressed in. So we're getting our screwdriver in there. Okay, you can see it's locked there. We need to twist it around. So you can see where to press in with our screwdriver. It's a bit fiddly. If we hold it in like that and the key's half turned. It gets stuck. There we are. Job done. So now we can swap the locks over. Back out in the rain and uh, ready to put the new it back in so we need to put this in a little bit of an angle and then it just slides back okay so it's flush there pop that back in because we need to attach it from the other side and then around this side there's this screw to go back in and a little scuba there and when you're doing this don't drop it all the way down there <laughs> else it's really difficult to get out as we've just found so we're going to pop all that mechanism I just back. mentioned <laughs> not to drop the screw down the door because it's just happened again for the second time. So we've missed all the swearing, but um, yeah, I'm going to help Amy again. One, two, three times that bloody screw has gone down that hole. <laughs> Don't drop it, whatever you do, it wastes time. Let's see if it works. So, door handle doesn't fall out, that's a good thing. It's a little bit stiff, the lock. But... It works, yes! Does so it unlock? One, two more to do. Does it unlock? Oh. Yes. Yay! Sliding door lock remover. We're changing all the barrels today. Um, we've just done the passenger side. We're doing the sliding door, then we're doing the drivers. So for this one, um, that little torque screw is going to come out. And we're just taking a screw out of the door, a couple of screws out of this 
door handle as the door well. door handle's off. We just need to take that little Phillips head screwdriver out of the rear mechanism of the door and then it should pop out. So it locks out now, similar to before. Put the key in the old cylinder and then turn it a little bit so you can just see in that little gap where that metal piece is just there you need to turn it until you see was it the other side of the barrel that's the side yep yeah. so you can see just there where the barrel is in just clipped in so you need to press on that and then yank the key back to get it out so the key needs to be in that kind of halfway position so that you can pull the barrel out while you're pressing down. It's a bit awkward. So quite a small flathead screwdriver to do the job. That's it, press it in. Yes! Well done! <laughs> well done. No pressure.